Hey folks, welcome back to Shadow Empire. Uh, we are now on round 44. Uh, let's have a look at the history to see what happened in the last... Over the last turn. Yeah, so Varwater pushing down to the southeast as well. I need to block them off. That was it, nothing. We didn't lose any troops. Um, okay, we're in the later phase of the crisis of confidence. In four turns, this will have disappeared. Uh, we gained the fate strategy point for civilization level rising to level 5. Eager industrialist and fat merchant are both really good cards. Um, Supreme Leader Day is uh, situationally useful. Um, we've got Recruit Military. Yeah, just a few cards, basically. Okay, so let me see what we can do now. Militia learns from experience. Uh, there's a bunch of mercenaries who want who we're thinking about putting into the, as police forces into the Militia units. Uh, we haven't got the money to pay the extra, but let's just do that. So militia units went up six experience points. Merchant Society demands that you hire their candidate. Which one's the Merchant Society? Uh, I don't really keep that on top of the factions, to be honest. I really should do. Uh, they've got enough people already, I think. One. It's never anybody good. So I'm going to say no. I don't care about that. Supreme Command Council is without leadership. Right, we're going to put in uh, Trinity Star Waste. Um, now, it's saying she's got suitability zero, that's because she hasn't got any skills, but she's going to level up really fast, so let's get her in there. She's going to be happy with that. And um, we need to do something with this, uh, with Ada Kalein. Now, what I might do, I uh, really want, I, I need to get the Foreign Affairs Council up soon. I think that's going to be the next job, or the Secret Service Council, sorry. I think it's the Spy Council we want next. Okay, let's have a look what's going on around here. Let's. I think what we're going to do is try and push. Yeah, let's let's just kind of take a bite out of this part of the uh, empire here. I'd like to get that there at least. Okay. All right, that looks good. Just make sure we're yeah we're all within range of the uh, OHQ. Let's make sure that we're still going. We're still close to that. Or keeping control of that um, hex with the metal. And let's move these motorbikes into and just try and chomp up some more of this terrain, uh, some more of this uh, this wasteland. Yeah, we've got plenty. We've got plenty of supply. This is better. Okay, this is better now. Like, see, this is why bikes are so good. Like, motor, like motorbikes are really, really underrated in this game. They're basically they're, they're they're basically they're basically infantry, but without any of the penalties that infantry have. Um, I f I forget now whether they I think they they basically just act like infantry, except they don't have the attack penalty. So they're really good. Um, I use them a lot in my games. I use them a lot. Yeah, I don't. I think these guys are gonna they're gonna try and get out somehow. I don't know how they, who they're gonna try and go through. I don't think we're gonna need that whole that whole brigade there now. So let's start moving these guys back down this way. Hopefully the militia can handle these. All right. Okay. So there's just some rapid expansion going on down that direction. Yep. Yeah, looking good. So that is probably going to be about it. I don't have many political points. Um, let me just go to the construction report and just remind myself what we're building. Okay. So we're building the metal the metal mining facility. We just need to we keep that going. Um, in in Corona, yeah, the quality of life is really low. I think what we need to do is we could play a card. Uh, the other thing is, of course, is this this zone might be a little bit more important. Vice might be a little bit more of an important place. So maybe if we go to Stratagem. Now we could. We haven't got those. I don't think I want to play anything that costs political points, but. Perhaps we could put security outpost or something here, or maybe um, traveling teachers, gladiator, any of these really.
Maybe the uh, maybe the security outpost. Yes, sir. Just anything to kind of get the quality of life up a little bit. So you'll see that that would have put in the security outpost here. Security outpost gives you security bonus points or security quality of life points. So um, there you go, look. Uh, you can't see it yet, but hang on, did I actually play that in the right... Yeah, I did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here we go. It came up here, look. Okay, so... This should enable uh, Vicer to attract population a little bit quicker. And we want to be, we want to start bringing population in. Let me just go call this guy. Ah, uh, no, hold on. Yeah, I don't want to use any political... Po State of post, sorry. I didn't mean to do that. Um, okay. Yeah, I think everything else is okay. So I'm just going to leave that for this turn. Um, maybe make some more bikers. I think I could probably afford them. How much are we going backwards by in money? Uh, 230 credits negative. Yeah, that's not great. Let's get some bikes up here. In uh, I'll, I'll actually put them in uh, Visa, and then we'll start, we'll help these guys push out this direction. I might even be able to reassign. Mind you, we, if we could get some bikes up this way, that would be even better. Let's make sure we're just getting pull points in that direction. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, maybe get some bikes up this way. These guys are really cheap to make. And they're relatively cheap to run as well, if I remember right. You'll get a lot of use out of motorbikes. Especially in this, uh, in this part of the game. Might actually put some up here too. Just got to be a bit careful. Uh, they only use 500 men. I think, yeah, 500 troops, look. It's metals and um, industrial points, and they're not even particularly heavy on either of those. You can just, you can basically churn these guys out pretty, fa pretty fast. Um, I'll leave it there for the time being, because I want to, I do actually need to finish this metal mine. Okay, I'm going to roll the turn on, guys. All right, we are now in round 45. Now, uh, I'm going to show you what's happened. Not a lot. <laughs> not a whole lot. Varot uh, re-maneuvering as usual, and they actually um, they've cut off that that unit here, and they've they've cut us off from that area. I don't mind it; that, that's not a big problem. And uh, yeah, we if we just go back to this this last battle, we actually lost a hundred machine gunners there, but we were attacked by fourteen hundred rifle militia. That was probably a little bit unlucky on our side. We should have been able to su survive that without any casualties. Uh, but although we only had five hundred troops, to be fair, so you know we were nearly three to one. All right, I'm going to show you the vidcom. We discovered a flat gun. That's no use at the moment. We've researched uh, sealed roads. Now, I set that researching uh, quite a few turns ago now. So I I think what we need to do is we need to move away from taxation policy um, expenditure, you know, from the political points. And we're going to put it back into the Supreme Command Council. Uh, oper operationalization of Heavy Machine Gun Infantry Corps is done. And uh, we've discovered rpg infantry army that might be useful i actually make use of those we found 359 credits that's amazing we've also got recruit talent this is a really good this is a really good card to play um this this is one way that we might be able to get someone decent for our secret service council eventually uh failing that i might take this guy where are we the the guy who is currently leading our first infantry paul fanarkis and i might uh, jump him into mind you he hasn't got much in the way of covert ops he will learn it pretty quickly though with capacity four so he's one that's one possible thing that we can do with him okay let's have a look at the decisions national budget allocations right this couldn't have come at a better time um what i want to do is rem like get the interior council down now and we need to put it back into supreme Con command council and military research so we're just kind of spreading it out a little bit Interior Council is less important now. Um, I think Supreme Command Council for the political points. Yeah, we don't need to go mad with that. Um, but the Economic Council and the uh, Military Research Council are probably really important. Model designs are also important. Okay. So Chunk Beat Knight lost 20 relation with us, unfortunately. Um, Ada Kalane, who is the, the leader of the Sacred School, who is now upset with me. Motion that the meritocracy profile reaches at least 65 points. Um, this is not easy to do. And we've got seven turns to do it. 
I'm going to I'm going to accept that. I don't know how easy that's going to be. I think it's going to be a matter of scrapping a load of cards. So for example, let's, if we just scrap some cards that we don't really need lots of. Like Play of Friendship's a good card, but I, I don't need them. We don't need any of these. Um Yeah, I'm just going to I'm just basically going to scrap a whole bunch of cards that we don't really want. So increase sales tax we don't want. Income tax I'll keep. Grand Convention's decent. Uh, these are all good cards. Decrease sales tax I'll, ha tax I'll hand on to. Oh, that reminds me, by the way. Um, we actually sold some more stuff this turn. and we So we, we didn't actually get any loss in our treasury. You'll see, look, uh, we actually made nearly 200 credits worth of sales. Uh, and, you know, so we, we were actually in the green even before we got that bump from searching the zone. Okay, back to the uh, scrapping the stratagems. Let's get rid of... I probably don't want... Oh, hang Ancient Depot's pretty good. Let's keep that. Don't care about Supreme Leader Day. Um, Ancient Archive's kind of a crappy card. I'm going to scrap those. I'll keep these because they, they can actually be quite useful. Let's just um, let's scrap one of them. Yeah, so basically, what, why am I, what am I doing this for? Well, by scrapping cards you get to the point where you can actually make your own right and i want the, uh, the cards generally give you stuff that will allow you to place assets that give you uh, hold on yeah so we can craft stratagems now so there we go for example this has given us an ambitious doctor a junior ambitious doctor has been convinced to join us okay so that's not really what i was looking for let's try again loyal attacker four a great loyal attacker okay so these are leaders um, usually when you get these, you often get, let's just scrap a few more cards. Uh, what else can we, we get rid of? Um, volunteer drive is not useful. I'm not going to give any money to anybody for the time being, so let's get rid of those. Okay. Loyal Extractor 2. Okay, these are all leaders. I don't know why it's giving me leaders. Basically, you, be, um, you also get assets as well, and the assets are tied to a particular profile. Um, so yeah, that, that'd be one way of us basically artificially in, inducing more, more meritocracy. Okay. Anyway, so we've set that economic council research objective. I think we probably want to go with hydroponics either or vidcom broadcasting, maybe vidcom, definitely vidcom, um, RPG infantry army would be good. Mechanized light infantry army would be useful. Mechanized machine gun infantry army would be useful. Let's go for the mechanized light infantry. I think. So now we've got some metal, we can actually start making use of APCs. I, I don't use APCs a whole lot in this game, and I, I think some people think they're really good. And I, I also think they're really good, I just don't really use them a whole lot. And it's just kind of, I like using infantry. Um, mechanized infantry burn through a lot of fuel. And they're, and they're kind of like, they're kind of expensive. Well, they're less expensive now than they used to be. They, they, Vic made some changes to the game where he, he kind of made it so that you, you get some of your... Manpower costs refunded. All right, let's get these guys down here. I'll actually use, I was going to use these for exploration. I might just use that one just for the time being for a little bit of military support. Okay, we've got those guys surrounded now. Yeah, he's he's kind of out of supply now. But we can move these troops back. Alright. I'm just gonna slowly slowly expand in into my uh, expand my territory. Let's get these guys back, they're not really much use for anything. Uh no, I might as well. Okay. See why these these bikes are great. They're just so good, especially if you if you can keep them supplied with with uh, fuel. They're just well worth it. Now we want roads. I'm not going to build too many. We've actually got sealed roads now too. Um, let's get some roads out here. There we go. And we'll move these bikes up. Same with the buggies.
Um, see what we've got there. Okay, we we can't actually quite see them. Let's just pick up these hexes as much as we can. I think this guy might be out of command range here. Yeah, he's slightly, but it's it's only um, it's only a small penalty. It's not a big problem. They won't really be using a whole lot of readiness at the moment anyway. Okay, uh, that's about it, I think. I don't want to spend any industrial points. I need to start saving those. We might not need so many military now. Um, although, saying that, now we've got money. Uh, it might be good to be building up a bit of a bank of troops, just in case you do get invaded. Um, yeah, we're starting to get decent amounts of rare metals now because we're not actually having to sell them, which is good. Obviously, if we had some polymer armor or something we'd to actually spend it on, that would be even more helpful. Let's just get some more ammunition. Yep, I think we're done. Um, I'm going to probably leave it at that for this turn. We want this metal mine to be finished. This is the uh, this is our priority. We want to get the metal up. I mean, there are a few bits and pieces that we could probably build in the meantime. Uh, I don't know. Like, what could we get? So we've got a truck station here. We're going to need more troops, up, uh, more colonies colonists up here so let's just colonize this we'll just send these guys in as send 500 in as workers because we're going to need some workers once this gets up and then we'll send in the rest of this population yes, sir. send a thousand population in there we'll send some more into this one too i'm actually doing okay for pop here uh, but the more we've got in here the bigger the yeah they don't really want to just be sitting around so let's Send another thousand colonists in there as well. I'll keep a few back. Work happiness is going down here. Um, let's just go to zone orders and find out why. Yeah, probably should put some of this in. Let's give it a little bit of a public budget as well. Recruit sign up bonus we don't need. Um, not very much of anyway. Everything else looks okay there. Okay, so we're going to put the worker's salary up. We should probably do the same here. Um, this is also going down. Let's make sure the worker's being well paid. Put a small public budget in. Um, I can afford to do this at the moment. I might have to drop it back out if we find that we're starting to spend, um, you know, for too much money. Also, uh, we do have... Oh, I kind of want to save my political points, though, because I need to get up another... Another formation. Yeah, I am going to end the turn now. Okay, we are now on round 46. Let's see what happened in the history. Same stuff as usual going on here. Not a lot. And then you'll notice in the southeast. Yeah, they uh, they actually... I don't know if they got pushed back here. But anyway, they've, they've, we've re reopened up a gap into our territory now, which isn't good, because that means that Varot will follow it out. We need to, we need to, I want to secure these mountains. Uh, Vidcom. Elections have been held in the sacred school, which was the old majority won the elections. Um, we're in the later phase of the time of confidence. Rifle 3 is our new model, and we've discovered RPGs finally. Um, we've got some cards. So, um... Have we got enough to form a new council yet? I think not. How many... Uh, what I want to do is I'll go to the organisations and look at the Supreme Command Council. Um, with 37 bureaucratic points assigned to support political power, we managed to create 56 political points. Okay. We need more political points, I think. I think, uh, yeah, because we're, we're really not getting... We, this is kind of slow. I can't really afford to spend very many at the moment. Merchant Society has passed a motion that the commerce profile is to be raised from 40 to 49. Uh, I think we can do that. Set salaries for your leaders. Now, let's just have a quick look, see what money is... What our money is saying. 36 credits and negative cash flow. Why? Um, we made a little bit less in sales this turn. So that's why um, income tax. Yeah, we're making a little bit on income tax now. 
Okay, so anyway, our money started to stabilise, which I'm really pleased about. This was a real problem for us in this game. And uh, yeah, it looks like we start, I've started to get a handle on it. Okay. Uh, let's get the decisions done. So set the salaries. I think we're going to leave this as it is. Uh, new organization option. Okay, so we can get the secret service cancel. Let's do this. This is really important. So I'm gonna and I'm gonna put a cap five, a cap four in there if I can. Um, I think next, rather than going for anything new, we need to in improve our machine gun. So let's improve on the um, uh, twin barrel MG2. So I want to make sure that they've actually had. Oh no, they've only had two field tests. That said, though, like it might just be worth us increasing them just because. Wait, let me just remind myself what that model was like. The baseline model. Yeah, this was good. This is a really good one. And look at that armor on that one was really good. They got really high pit points even for pads uh, in virus suits. So let's let's just increase this one anyway. I think I think I'm just going to go straight forward and do it. So give them the advanced machine gun and a padded in virus suit. That's going to make that's going to increase their abilities a great deal. They're not going to be able to hand up. They're not going to be able to stand up against combat armor. But you know, everything in due time. So. We need to get... Let's get these guys back up this way. And... Uh, do we have a militia unit that we can we can throw in here? No, I think not. So... Oh, yes, we do. Okay. Let's just attack with that militia unit and just see what we've got in there. Okay, we lost 100 troops. That's not too bad. And let's just get ourselves in a uh, in a decent attack. Don't really want to attack with these machine guns. I will do, I think, in this case. Maybe I'll, I'll not attack with those. Machine gunners seem to die a bit more readily than anybody else. Uh, we lost some rifles, that was it. Okay. That's one more pocket of troops eliminated. Okay, well, this allows us to move down with these bikes. And um, we found another geezer turbine. Right, there's there's loads of geezer turbines on this map. It looks like we're going to be okay with regards to energy for a while anyway. It's an independent machine gun battalion. I might move these guys back up here. We've got any logistics points. We might be able to replenish some troops. There we go, look. Okay, let's get these guys back on their feet. Um... And let's just build a couple of roads out. I don't want to build too many roads because I just don't have the industrial points at the moment. That's better. Let's just keep that overlay on just for the time being because I want to be able to see where we are able to um, explore out to. Okay, now we're getting some exploration done. These bikes were a good idea, I think. Just try and push those guys back a little bit, or their territory back, I should say. Um, uh, I don't know if I can afford to do this. Let's just push out one, one hex. These guys got plenty of supply, so... These are all in the green still. I kind of want, I do want to rush as much as possible to try to get territory. It's mega important. If you're the first person to get that, you know, uh, 200 or 300 credits or the bunch of machines or whatever it is that you've, that you've, you've found, it's just so helpful. Let's get these guys back. They're not much use anymore, I don't think. Uh, they're not really, um, they are, they are able to push back one hex turn, but they don't have enough manpower to be able to scout in the uh, the hexes immediately surrounding them, unfortunately. Okay. There we go. All right, this game's starting to move a little bit faster now, which I'm pleased about. I was kind of worried that people might find it a little bit boring. Let me know what you think, by the way, in the comments. If you, you know, this has been a kind of a bit of an odd map. I found it entertaining, actually, because for me, at least, it's, it's a nice challenge to be able to try to figure out what it is that you need to be doing with um you know with survival basically we're like what do i need to do in order to be able to keep going and i think i, I was sailing close to the sun a little bit 
uh, you know, in uh, particularly in the last sort of five or six episodes, I've I've started to pick it up now a little bit. Now I have had to use a lot of my resources, but okay. Before we end this turn, the next thing we need to do is we need to look at who we're going to put into the into the Secret Service Council. Now, let me tell you, as somebody who's played Shadow Empire a lot, that and you can imagine me waving my finger now at you like some kind of like haughty school teacher you really want somebody strong in the secret service council it kind of make it kind of makes the game way easier okay so like um let's go to key info capability and we we'll just sort them by capability and let's see what we've got so all our capability fours we one of them is just exploring this guy does not need to be exploring now i'm going to give him a better job so you sir i'm going to relieve you and i'm going to give you a better job all right so he's, he's actually going to improve a relationship with him he's going to be expecting a council seat or something now now this dude's not that ambitious which is decent but he i'm paul Fanarchis, right he's got a decent war rating it's not the best i've ever seen but i'm going to stick him into the um he's got some covert ops i'm going to get him into the secret service council and man he's only 35 right by the end of the game that guy is going to be rocking it uh he might well help us win the game so we do need to replace him of course so let's get a stratagem and we're going to let's see if we can get let's recruit a talent and see what oh no we can't because we aren't going to political points all right we'll do that next turn then a loyal attacker four is that capacity four i wonder i bet it is i bet that's what the four means interesting 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 let's play that next turn and we'll see what we can get out of it and with that i will catch you in the next one